Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials and this week I'll be showing you how to customize the position of your alert views. Now already in the simulator I have an example of what we created today a simple round red button in which when we hit it our alert will be shown. Now normally when you're showing alerts the alert appears dead center within the screen but customizing the position you can allow it to display the alert in certain positions so you can show other content around it so if I just give you press the button now and just give you an example so once I hit it our alert is shown at the bottom which gives enough room to show or display content that you don't want to be hidden when the alert is shown above the top or you can position the alert at the top of the screen or to the right to the left any way you really want to so I'll be showing you this today and already my project set up it's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it custom alert position for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we want to do is go to our view controller.h where just after the UI view controller we do a curly bracket and press enter we need to add the action button for our alert so we do dash bracket IB action bracket and I simply named it alert button and then end it with a semicolon. And then we can save that and go to our view controller.m, where just after the implementation of the view controller, we press enter a few times so we have a fair bit of room and you can clearly see what I'm typing in. So now then we add in our action button, which we just created. The dash bracket IB action bracket, and we named it alert button to do space, curly bracket, and then press enter. And then what we need to do is type in UI alert view space asterisk, give it a name, which we'll name it alert, easy to understand, space equals space bracket bracket, again UI alert view space alloc, and then end that array bracket. Now we're going to do enter twice, as now we're going to do the features for our alert, which I'll do line by line. So I'll do in it with type in in it with title and then press enter and you get all the message come up so just a message press enter the delegate press enter cancel button press enter and other buttons press enter by putting on individual lines it's easier to see and easier to understand the configuration of our alert so the in it with title we'll do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and I simply put the title as this will display the title of our alert the message, so we do exactly the same, at symbol, quotation mark, quotation mark, and this time we do the message. In the delegate, we do self. In cancel button title, we do at symbol, quotation mark, quotation mark, and this will be the title of the button which cancels our alert. So I simply give it a name of dismiss, and the NS string here is completely get rid of it, so it just simply says nil, and then end it with a bracket and a semicolon. Now once you've done that, press enter twice, and now we need to do the position we want our alert to be displayed in. So to do that we do alert dot transform space equals space and we do cg affine transform identity. So if I simply quickly type that out. Identity and that erase semicolon and then press enter. And again, we do alert dot transform space equals space. And this time it's CG affine transform translate. So we, again, we type it out CG affine transform translate. Now, in the first highlight section here, the CG FI transform to we do the name of our alert which we named the alert dot transform and then the CG float TX we simply put zero dot zero as this will center our alert to the center of the screen but in the TY this will position it highlight height to be at the top or at the bottom. So if I did zero dot zero this will completely center our alert into the screen but if I do the same position as it is on the Xcode simulator, we do dash or minus 100. This will position it lower to the screen. So if you just play around with these two 
settings here are the numbers, so just completely change it. Like I said before, the one on the left here will display left to right, and this one here will display it if it's high or low. So after you've done that, we make sure we got a semicolon on the end of the bracket. Enter twice, and we do bracket alert, and we need to show it. And then a bracket and a semicolon. So once you've done that, save that, go into our viewcontrol.xiv. And just the same as on the iPhone simulator, drag in your alert, your own round back, round back button, sorry, and simply name it show alert, and then click on file zoner, and then link up our alert button, so you suggest anything, something simple like touchdown. Now as our alert is displaying at the bottom of the screen, I've simply placed our round back button at the top, so it's nicely spaced out and you can see it when the alert has been shown. So once you've done that we can go to build and run. And now once our simulator is loaded we press our show alert button and our alert is displayed at the bottom of our view. So that's simply how you customise the position of your alerts. I hope this helps know your apps or projects at the moment. If you haven't make sure you subscribe and please 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 make sure you favourite and like this video as it really helps us out and generates a wider audience helping more people out with our tutorials. Send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorial yourself or if you want to leave us any feedback on how we can improve our tutorials. If you haven't make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Hey guys Aaron here. If you need help with your projects or haven't got the time to create that perfect app idea head over to our website where you can post your project on our project board for hundreds of developers to see or earn a little bit of money by completing projects posted by others. Please support us by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geeklemon.com and check out all our apps by simply searching Geek Lemon on the App Store.